So, let's talk about nanobots. Nanobots in science fiction are usually depicted as capable of performing miraculous tasks. However, the reality is quite different, and the fantastical notion of nanobots controlling or spying on humans from the inside is just that, fantastical. Don't get sucked in by crazy conspiracy theories, and no, don't Google how much nanobots cost and where to buy them. You can't. Nanorobots in medicine aim to target diseased cells, delivering treatments directly, minimizing side effects. One futuristic vision is to have nanobots navigating through your body. As they traverse a blood vessel, they encounter a harmful parasite. Swiftly, they neutralize the invader, ensuring the body remains healthy. Now imagine them moving to damage cells or tumors, working meticulously to repair them or destroy them. This imagery showcases the potential held by medical nanorobotics in monitoring and repairing our bodies from within. It sounds like a scene straight out of a sci-fi movie, right? Well, at the moment it is. Unlike the sci-fi nanobots, the reality today is quite different. These aren't the sophisticated machines of stories and films. Instead, they are more accurately described as programmable molecules that are crafted to carry out specific, basic functions. Equipped with self-propulsion, these nanomotors have one primary mission – to deliver vital payloads directly to sites of injury or disease, for example, transporting medications directly to the cells that need them. Take cancer treatment, where these tiny marvels can be engineered to navigate to a tumor, block its blood supply, and ultimately induce tissue death to reduce the tumor's size. Now, one fascinating concept is the field of DNA origami. In the same way that origami turns a flat sheet of paper into a 3D shape like a bird or a frog, DNA origami folds strands of DNA to form tiny shapes and machines. But instead of paper, scientists use DNA molecules, the stuff our genes are made of. They take a single, long strand of DNA and fold it, creating any shape they design, like a microscopic box. Take a look at this smiley face. It actually is a giant DNA complex imaged with an atomic force microscope. It is about 100 nanometers across, 2 nanometers thick, and comprised of about 14,000 DNA bases. Using the origami folding technique, researchers have constructed a whole toolbox of structures and shapes like this with incredible precision. And because it's so tiny and can work in living things, this DNA origami is perfect for jobs like hunting down cancer cells to deliver drugs right to their doorstep. Already, researchers have developed an approach that engulfs and neutralizes viruses with nanocapsules tailored using the DNA origami method. The strategy has already been tested against hepatitis and adeno-associated viruses in cell cultures. Peering into the future, the nanobot vision is thrilling yet intricate. Current nanorobotics is in the early stages, making strides toward its celebrated transformative potential. The journey ahead is rife with scientific, ethical and regulatory hurdles. Researchers are bridging the gap between fiction and fact, edging us into an era where nanobots may revolutionize fields like medicine and manufacturing. Their narrative is developing each breakthrough nudging us closer to a day when these tiny wonders are as ubiquitous as today's everyday devices. As always, thanks for watching. Enjoyed the video? Give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and tap the bell to never miss out.